All right, let's look at the online classroom. If you'll notice, the uh, site that we use is the HVAC training portal, and that's hvactrainingportal.com is where you're going to go to, to log in for your courses. Right here is your login box. You use your username or email and the password that uh, you select once you enroll yourself in the course. Once you go ahead and log in, it's going to take you to My Courses. And if you're in the HVAC Technician course, this will be the only one that shows right here. The one thing to look for immediately is down here at the bottom right. It'll tell you if you have any new messages. This is our way to communicate back and forth for administrative purposes. So if you're having a login problem or something else like that, then we use our messaging system for that. That's a private way to message each other. But let's take a look at this course. Okay, here's the, the HVAC Technician course itself. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to encourage you to do as a student is to participate. And that is what the class forum is for. And this is found in the right below the um, HVAC Technician course textbook. And you go to the class forum and this is how we talk about HVAC related topics. Anything related to HVAC, it could be jobs, it could be, I have some guys that are going through um, an on-site course that have enrolled in this course as well to supplement what they're learning. Uh, we have one of our students here has a, a gas furnace issue at his own house and we discuss things, we take pictures and any question that you may have HVAC related we can have the discussion here. The beauty of this is you can ask your questions anonymously or at least not being that guy that's raising, raising your hand in the class asking all the silly questions that don't pertain to anybody else. The other good thing about that is others can learn from the discussion and you can chime in with each other. Now I do have students that go through this course from module 1 to module 19, 20 and they never participate in anything. So the more you participate in the course by using the class forum and asking questions, the more you're going to learn. So here is week one module one temperature and theory of heat. Your learning objectives here. These are the reading assignments for the fifth edition if you happen to have that book or the seventh edition. There are supplementary videos to help point out those key points that um, that you're going to be reading in your textbook. Now this is where if you don't get it by reading or you missed it the first time you watched the video you can go back and replay that video as many times as you want. So we have video lessons here and then you have module one exam. Now you will not be able to see in anything below this line until you complete module one exam with a score of 80 percent or greater. Now if you go ahead and take this exam and you score a 75 uh, you're gonna have to wait three days before you can take this exam again so make sure you're ready to go um, if you'll notice it's 90 minutes for module one exam because you get pre-test jitters you're not used to taking tests so I've given you a little bit more time for modules one and modules two to take this exam and kind of get in the groove by the time you hit module three it's going to be um, a piece of cake and, and you'll be trucking right along so let's move on. So we have recommend. If you notice here, we have recommended weeks. If you want to get stay on the ten month uh, track, but you can do it in six months, or if it takes you sixteen months, it, it doesn't matter. So this is where um, the online course is based on your schedule and your style of learning. The other thing of note is the reading assignments are short. So if you take a look at the, the reading assignments for module three here, there's eight of them. If you wanted to spend about an hour each evening reading your reading assignments, you can pretty much guesstimate that you're going to you're going to spend eight nights reading module um, module three's um, reading assignments. 
So all of them are, are broken down into short, short um, reading assignments that you can easily accomplish in an hour or so in the evening. Now, if you notice, this, this is where the course evolves. We had a lot of questions and a pretty big discussion in the class forum on the uh, on um, subcooling and the and from the uh, compressor to the metering device. So we had this lively discussion. And it's like this is where it's time to shoot the video and post it up there because if there are three or four people struggling with this concept, this is how we evolve the course and start to shoot additional videos. And I posted it up here so you could see it. Um, but each one of these links right here are all videos that are available for you to watch that are in addition to the um, the reading assignment videos that accompany the reading assignment videos. We're building our service call questions here where it's this is a real life situation with photos to accompany it meter readings and refrigerant gauge readings and you get your opportunity to submit your answer to this real life service call. And there are uh, modules that are added each year. We are in the process of adding uh, another module, another module as we speak to encompass the um, EPA certification exam and that's right here. When it is uh, when it's under development you do not have to complete this course but it is recommended that you um, read, it, read it for future reference. And let's take a look quickly at the messaging. The one thing I again I want you to remember class forum is for anything technical or HVAC related. Messaging systems is for private communication. So here is how how we have our discussion. And I'll show you how that works. And the next time that uh, Tony logs in there, he'll see that little message box down here at the bottom. So that is the online course. Just remember again, the more you participate with questions and the forums and so forth, the more you're going to get out of this course. Then the more you give, the more you receive. All right. So we're going to return back to our webinar and um, to get a chance to ask some questions.